we're gonna walk back here. <sighs> back here. I've got a compost pile. I'm just gonna step over the fence. Because that's how I roll. <laughs> um, this is some um, cup plant. If you know anybody who has cup plant, they know it's literally this invasive. <laughs> it's that strong. Um, okay, let's figure out. No, you can't come, girls. We're going to talk about abundance. Abundance. You see what I have here? I have an abundance of purple violets. And I encourage these because this is a shady area. Everything else around them. You know. I really just want the hydrangea. This spirea has got to go because there's too many trees. But I've just neglected it because it's way back here. But what I do like is when I look back here and there is just flooded with purple flowers. Um, these are big leaves. Slugs kind of eat them, but see how big it is? It's a big leaf. It's a good, it's a good plant. <clears throat> it doesn't, you know, it doesn't got much, but it's not Brunner or Othello or anything, but <clears throat> it's working. So I have this abundance, right? And right here I have this tree that my kid brought home from school that we want to help it grow. But we have all these plants. <clears throat> and these are good plants. These aren't weeds, right? They're not weeds, no. What is a weed? A weed is a plant you don't want. That's it. That's all a weed is, okay? So if you can't find a place to put your plant and you don't want it and it's become a weed and it's a nuisance, it's just causing problems, right? So what are we going to do? We can see our nuisance starting to spread here. So we're just going to rip it out like weeds. Just treat it like a weed. We don't need to keep this. We've got eight feet of this. What do we need to keep it for? You know what's more important? What's more important is that this tree has a good space to grow. And no, I didn't get the roots because it's friggin' July. <laughs> Last time I pulled it, it only came back this good. So I think this is going to do pretty good for this season. Right? So we're just going to... And then look, this is so. This is why you put your mulch pile close. One reason. Ah, there's bees trying to go in there. i got to fill that hole. Uh, and we're just going to pull. We're just going to give our plant space because none of this matters none of it is it great could I move it somewhere if I needed to sure certainly you can see whole roots coming out you can totally do that but because you have an abundance of it and you have no other place you either want or can physically put this because you know what it does or just don't have room then that's what you do with it we can ask a neighbor if they want some, but I mean, really, why bother with that, right? And you see, I just smooshed it down. Who cares, right? So anything that's strong, we're just going to take out. We want to stop reaching. Stop reaching, okay? Stop reaching. Forget you. <laughs> it's about you controlling nature, not the other way around, okay? Nature's going to assert herself enough. And every once in a while, you got dominate. <laughs> well, that's exactly what you just did. You just told nature no. But that's okay. Now, a way to solve this problem for me would be to put some mulch here, which I'm going to because violets move pretty quickly. And that's like the third time I've done that this season. So I'm going to put some compost, some mulch around. And I won't have to do this again this season. Next season, probably. But, well, next season, definitely the violets. But that's how you do, with, do that. That's how you deal with abundance. If you literally have so much. Look, there's my arm. See how far it is past? I mean, it's like six feet past. And yes, there's a rhododendron in there. And yes, I will pull around from there as well. But I don't know, honestly... I think rhododendrons like their feet covered, and he seems to be growing much better since I pulled that from a customer's house a while back, and it was a stick. And since the violets wrapped around, he is he's bloomed. I don't know. I'll give him some space, but, you know. But like I said, if you have this much, you know, you have so much. 
have so much I could come through here and take pieces and just move it everywhere if I wanted to. <clears throat> then that's how you deal with it. That's how you deal with abundance. Too much of anything is too much. Doesn't matter if it's ketchup on your fries or violets in the garden. Too much of anything is too much. There you go, little tree. Mm-hmm. <laughs>